of my a long time, even when I was a kid with my family growing up. I was always in the room reading the book. That was my alone time. That was my downtime. That was my spiritual time. That's what I'm saying. I lived my whole life intuitively done by it, my babes. He's about to walk in the floor. Hey, baby. That was I was always I was always in that mode. So whether I knew it or not at the time, spirit was always talking to me. God was always talking to me. I just always thought I was talking to myself. I really did. I grew up talking like that. I grew up in my head. I really did. I know I talk a lot, but there's a lot more that goes on in my head. A whole lot more that goes on in my head. And 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 there's a reason why I never talk about a lot of it was because my family around me, though, and I don't believe they did it intentionally. Because a lot of them did it out of fear. And when I say intentionally, I don't believe they are spiritual beings like awoke. Like the ones I've come across. The one, the last few, even a terrorist that I just like had to cut my energy off from. Because they were spiritualists to me. Which means they have known the gift, even the, the karmic that I just come. They they were hip to it before I was, meaning they were in the know as to what was going on and the duality of it all. And they tried to use it against me because they felt that I was naive enough and didn't know enough. But this outside and what I present is like what they thought was just a little rock. In the Titanic, literally. It really is. And so they underestimated me. People will underestimate you because of who you present yourself to be on the outside. Your sun sign. Yeah. But they don't know who you are. But if you're under black magic, you'll have them telling you who you are. Right? Right? And because that veil and that illusion, and if you're weak-minded, and I don't mean weak-minded as a negative, it means that maybe you've had it very difficult in life and you didn't from the beginning, okay? My life was difficult from the beginning, but I was a very naive child. I always saw the good in everything and everybody. I was, I was sheltered. I was literally sheltered by God because it would have damaged me in the beginning. And I always say, and I thank God and my ancestors, that they didn't let me know the truth until I was able to handle it and deal with it. There were a lot of tears, y'all. There was a lot of tears. But I, I made it through, and so will you, okay? This video is already 36 minutes long, and I have to use the bathroom, so I'm finna cut and say, Mazatov, Namaste, Ashe. I'll see you guys soon.